I'm Dr. Swarchla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. Today we are going to understand what role polyps play in the fertility of a woman and uh, what are the factors that influence your chances of success if you have a polyp within your endometrium. But to understand a polyp, you need to understand the anatomy of a uterus. Remember that the uterus has three parts, the outer, the middle and the inside, the outer shape of the uterus. The inside is myometrium and inside is the endometrium and polyps are basically outgrowths of the endometrium inside the the uterus the inside part of the uterus so because uh, you can see that they are covering the area inside the uterus it also means that they are occupying more space inside the uterus therefore the growing embryo or a developing embryo does not have space the polyp has encroached uh, its point of implantation therefore the chance of success comes down but the chance of success really depends on three factors based on the, where the polyps are it's the size first what is the size of the polyp is it very big and it is invaginating inside the uterus or is it small and it is located in such a way that it is not hampering now small polyps blocking tubes could mean that the success rate comes down isn't it or even if they are blocking them in completely then it could lead to ectopic pregnancies so polyps and their location are very important what is the size of the polyp the second point is the number if there are numerous polyps inside the endometrium it means that again like i said the space for an embryo to implant to to grow inside the endometrium is reduced therefore the number of polyps also play a very critical role in the chance of success the third point are the shape now if there are small polyps that are blocking the tubes that brings down your success if there are large polyps uh, which are located at the fundus or inside the the uterus then that brings down your success rate small polyps which are uh, located very far from the area of uh, implantation do not affect your chance of success now how do you get to know that there is a polyp inside your uh, uterus women with polyp have known to have infrequent bleeding uh, or frequent bleeding so they have a bleeding between two periods or profuse bleeding or uh, you know too many times uh, there is a period like breakthrough bleeding so these women also have a, a complaint of pain in abdomen when bleeding occurs uh, when you go for an ultrasonography these polyps may not be detected so there are three methods to detect these polyps the first is a saline sonography so in a saline sonography the procedure is very simple saline is passed into the the uterus and the polyps are then highlighted therefore you can see where the polyps are what is the size shape and the the location of the polyp is identified and the next step can then be taken the second is an hsg it is much like the previous procedure that i said a saline sonography but this is a histros salpingogram where an, a dye like object is passed into the uterus and an x-ray is taken that gives a clear definition of where the polyp is present third is a hysteroscopy now this hysteroscopy can also be a treatment for uh, the presence of polyps this is when a telescope like um, camera is passed into the uterus and the polyps are located within the same sitting this hysteroscopy can be converted into an operative hysteroscopy these polyps can be cut off and uh, the problem can be brought down and your chance of success then increases because these polyps are no longer present inside your uterus so the treatment also happens to be the hysteroscopy which could be diagnostic or can be changed into an operative hysteroscopy to change it into a treatment if you have polyps if you have been having uh, complaints of frequent bleeding and uh, too much bleeding or uh, you know discomfort during periods please feel free to contact us for a second opinion with polyps thank you we strive very hard to make these informative videos for you please encourage us by subscribing and liking our videos thank you